Right, the first thing you wanna do is get your proposal branding sorted out. And by that, I mean your logo in all of the right places. Now there's three places that your logo shows up. The first place is on your proposal itself. This is in the proposal viewer in the sidebar on the left-hand side. The second is on the emails that go to your client. And the last place is on your proposal covers. Now to change the proposal logo itself, you click settings in the top right hand corner, click proposal branding, and from there you're presented with a whole range of different options. Now for the case of changing your logo, you wanna click on sidebar. You can explore the rest in your own time. So click on sidebar, and then from there you can change the logo. What you can also do at this point is change the background color as well. So depending on what background color you go with, you might want to choose a different version of your logo. So if you leave the background white, then you'll use a version of your logo that's got dark text on it, suitable for a white background. If you wanted to invert that and use, say, a dark color on your sidebar, you'd want to flip the logo and use one with white text on it so it stands out quite nicely. Now, step over on the navigation and click on email. And at this point, you want to just put up the I suppose the default version of your logo, which would be suitable for a white background. This is always gonna be on a white background, so just upload pretty much whatever you put on your uh, letterhead. Now, your covers are slightly different. So what we do when you create a new cover is we assume that you're gonna use the same version of um, the logo that's on your proposals, but you can change it as well. So for instance, if you've got a white uh, background on your proposals and you've therefore used dark text, and then you create a cover and you've got a photo there on your background, it's not gonna look quite right and it might be a little bit difficult to see the, uh, see the logo in all, in all its glory, so to speak. Uh, so what we actually recommend you do is if you are using any sort of background color or any sort of background image on your covers is to use an inverted version of your logo where the text is white. That generally looks really smart and it makes everything stand out and look really nice and clean and modern and, and generally it matches the rest of the text as well and it just makes it look really, really smart. So to get to the proposal covers, all you do is click templates, click cover templates on the right hand side and then click edit and you can then click your logo to change it. Um, so I hope that helps um, give you some sort of structure as to how to uh, make sure that your logo and your brand is represented in the best way possible.